No, I realize that another great feature of Recycle is that it allows me to very, very quickly grab one shots, uh, single hits, and categorize them into folders of kicks, snares, hi-hats, sound effects. And I can very quickly begin to build a sample library off of loops or any other sound source for my drum machines, for example. So I just want to give you a quick little preview and a different approach on how to use Recycle to create one-shot libraries. So let's take a look at that. I've imported a loop, I've adjusted my sensitivity slider, and now I can go in and audition some of these individual slices. In order to create one shots, I simply set the locators around one slice, one event. And in the program, if I use save as, it will create a rex file, which not all software or virtual drum machines will read. So to play it on the save side, instead of using save as, we can use export to make sure that this slice is exported as either an AIFF or a WAV file. When you're creating a library of one-shots, it's probably a good idea to keep it really organized. So watch how I'll set up the hierarchy of folders here. Create a new folder. And for example, let's say that we're creating a library for Redrum, which is the drum machine in Reason. And within this folder, I'll create a category of subfolders. For example, a folder strictly for kick drums. And we'll label this... Uh, dirty kick. It's very important that you look at the format here at the bottom. I think the default is for it to be set up as a standard MIDI file, which will not open up in your virtual instrument drum machine. So you want to change this to uh, audio IFF, WAV file. You also have the option of creating a Kai program files if you're working with MPCs or those similar drum machines, which is a nice feature. For this example, we'll use an audio IFF file and save it. It wants to know what resolution you want to save the file at. CD quality is 44, 1, 16 bit, so for my purposes this is fine. Let's say I wanted to grab that snare, I would repeat the process, set the locators around the snare. The quick command for the export window is Apple E. I would back out of this folder, create a folder for snares. and label the snare. Personally, I like to label my snares with some identifying characteristic of the sound. It's not very helpful when you look inside of a snare folder and you see snare 1 through 56. Uh, I'd rather see some type of identifying feature on the sound so I can see what it is I'm listening to. And in this fashion, it would be very easy to quickly create a bunch of one-shot files that you can use in your drum machines. We'll export this one as the last example. Apple E. Create a folder for hi-hats. Label that. And export it. And there's an opportunity within these sample libraries for you to grab all kinds of one-shots and start expanding your library based on the style of music that you're working with. You can also grab sound effects, any other type of category that you want to create in that folder.